And so this is how we bring closure to the first part. In a short while, we'll be going for coffee break. And when we reconvene, woo, it will be fireworks over here because we're going to the first panel for today, the economy and ease of doing business. I believe all our speakers have spoken into this sub-theme and even the next, which is corporate governance. We shall be glad to have you, Madam Mansanete, together with Honorable Minister and Professor Kenate for Grant the Media some interviews. Our resource person will come and facilitate that just at the end of the session. Ladies and gentlemen, before we leave, it's important that we hear from our platinum sponsors, Kwale's group, they are building a new Africa. The founder is here. Please welcome Mr. Kwame Pidiakon. Nana Kwame Pidiakon. Good afternoon, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, honorable minister, Her excellency, gracious grace, CEOs, and my fellow Ghanaians. Um, I would first of all like to start with, um, can, can you bring it back, please? So I can, or pause it for a minute. Thank you. So first of all, let me use this opportunity to thank the CEO Summit. It's a great opportunity for them to have created this platform for recognizing Africans, Ghanaians, and even foreign entities who have come into our country to set up platforms to help build our economies. I started my business from a very small scale, and I was just building on one plot. I wanted to be a builder. And I went to the land three times. The third time, something told me, why don't you build two houses on one plot? So I decided to do so. I built two houses on one plot. And that became the principle of my business, maximization. So I'm not a, a real estate developer. I maximize the use of the land, the spaces. Thank you. This actually opened my mindset for business and beyond that, for nations. I started to think differently. So from that two houses that went on one plot before Qualis Group was formed, this is what we have done so far, and I'd like to share some of the project with everyone here. Can we please? So Qualis Group has five subsidiaries, Petronia, Wonderworld, Belfast, New Africa Construction, and New Africa Foundation. These are some of the buildings that has come from the two houses on one plot. Qualis is a 40 apartment residence in airports, and number one by the Dankwa Circle is 108 apartment, apartments on one and a half plots. So this is where the maximization took. From putting two houses on one plot to 108 apartments. Bel Air Crest is in Cantonment. It's also 30 apartments on two plots. Avenue Lincoln, it's in Ridge. Number two is yet to be built. Ridge Carton, it's coming up, a great address in Accra, next to Labadi Beach. Double W is ongoing. It's the first um, uh, medical tourism and offices. Graduators, it's our charity project to be able to provide homes for graduates. JW Marriott, it's also an ongoing project. And these are some of my projects in LA, outside Ghana. In 20 years, I have managed to build over 700 homes from Ghana to other parts of the world. The point that I'm trying to make here, it's what my country has made me become. So I decided to put this together. The revolution of development, how the world has changed from Asia to Dubai, the United Arab of Emirates, the evolution of Europe, how we got developed so fast,
Now, these are countries that are on global economy. What it used to be and what it has become today. The evolution of America is very interesting. It's become one of the strongest engines of the world from how it was built. And it was definitely built on the government working directly with the private sector. They managed to build the one currency, the dollar, out of industrialization. The nest place to be developed is Africa. Behind every vision there is an imagination. Imagine a new Africa, a continent of opportunities. Welcome to the new Africa, Petronius City. At the heart of Ghana's oil-rich western region is a 2,000-acre master-planned city. Within Petronius City is Africa's first energy city, a free zone enclave, manufacturing hub, the oil and gas university, a golf village with an 18-hole world-class golf course, and more. Explore more. Visit PetroniusCity.com. Petronius City, building the new Africa. Okay, thank you. So this is the vision of the Qualis group. Qualis is my mother. And um, I grew up with my mother. She was penniless broke. And so I had to turn this curse to a gift. I wanted to find a way out. But when you're born in a country like Ghana, when the average person is poor, you're all swimming in the same sea. How do you get out? That's where my motivation came from. I needed to move my mom from where she was. I managed to do so. And after that, I decided to build my continent. But I started from my community. I just wanted to build a small place in Accra. I started with these two houses. It became four, then it became eight, then it became 80, then it became 100. And now I want them in thousands, but that's not my dream. My dream is not to be extremely successful or find all these riches from development. My dream is to develop nations and to impact society. I got it from, I got it from doing businesses, but today I have realized that if I can put hundreds of homes and start to close the deficits of my own country, then I should be able to help the country get built. Hence, that's how I came up with the vision Petronia. I realized that Africa will not be built without new cities. And just to refer to what you said, Honorable Minister, that if we don't introduce digitization, industrialization, the technology hubs, the financial hubs, how are we going to create these jobs that will create the middle income to sustain our economy? And the reason why I think about the economy is I'm going to share it with you. When you can build a hundred homes and you don't really find the people who have the money to buy, you will start to think about how you're going to get those people to become richer. Because I could afford, I have the wisdom to do the development, but when I look at the economy, I can see a huge gap in the economy. So I ask myself, who am I building for? There is no affordability in our systems. Here, yeah, great banks, congratulations, Madam Mansa, on your 125th anniversary. Here, yeah, great banks in Ghana. But does it really support our system? There's great corporate governance. But is it endorsed by the government? Or is it time that we realize that the government should now marry the private sector so we can start to revolutionize our sense of development, which will start from industrialization. This is why we are very interested in Petronia. Why did we choose Petronia? I'd like to share this with all of you. Petronia is in the western part of Ghana. 
The western part of Ghana has over 10 resources concentrated in one area. When you do these numbers, it's over a trillion, the proven records of the resources on the ground. I heard you say, Minister, that Africa in a whole, which is 1.2 billion, have a GDP of 3 trillion. We actually have 1 trillion, over 1 trillion, sitting in the western part of Ghana, which makes it by far one of the richest regions on the continent. So what does that tell us? Ghana is the new hub of Africa. We have the most resources that you don't have to travel 200 kilometers or you can find oil or gold. Oil, gold, gas, cocoa, rubber, manganese, bauxite, on and on and on and on. It keeps going. It's all in the western region. Opposite us is the coast. The coast, the sea, is going to be our biggest business, logistics. The richest man in the world, one of the richest, Jeff Bezos. He's just a transporter. <laughs> logistics. So if we believe that the AFTA is going to be a part of Africa's revolution about trading, then we should remember that the private sectors should be able to situate themselves on platforms that will industrialize the entire economy. I don't see why we should buy 5,000 iPhones imported from China and come to Ghana to sell it. It's a plant. <laughs> That same plant can be in Takrati, and that's it. We don't have to import again. Our computers, everything that we're importing, can actually be industrialized in our own country. So my question is, when I did my research, there is 92% of importation in our countries. But today, we have over 400 CEOs here. Why are we still importing? 92% means somebody takes the money from the system, goes out of the country, buy things, put it in a container, ship it here, and when they get here, they pay taxes, and they sell the same product times 10 or times 5. Suck all the money from their system again, and go back to the manufacturer. The day that we Ghanaians and Africans would have a whole industrial platform that is producing all of these things would cut the importation and subsidize it with exportation. That would bring us more than 15 to 20 percent of our GDP increment. It would change the economy. Then I can sell houses then I can really sell apartments. Then I can build 10,000 homes. Because at this very moment, if you ask me that I'm a developer and I should go and get funding and build 1,000 homes or 10,000 homes because people need um, uh, low-income houses and all of that, I'll tell you no. It needs a full integration. Without the integration, it's not going to work. And it needs a lot of planning it needs a lot of industrial aspect. This, these are the changes that I believe this post-COVID has opened up to Africa. We have to understand that today, we don't have to travel to another man's country to be able to bring back home what we need. Because people are not allowed anyway. You don't want to go through this quarantine. You don't want to do all of this. It means you have to stay where you belong and create what your people need and build your nation. This is the empowerment that I have had from this current situation of the world. I've realized that we need to build our own. So I'd like to urge most of the CEOs here, all the great people here right now to support the vision of us building our industrial platforms, technology, it's industrialization. 
It's a revolutionary industrialization and it's taking over the world by surprise. And we need to merge that with manufacturing and create more CEOs. On that note, I would like to say I'm retiring from a CEO and I'm going to become an industrialist. So my post is available for grabs. If there's anyone here <laughs> that is interested to continue with some of the things I'm doing, you're more than welcome to do so. But my mission, my vision, is to go into the industrial sector of this country. I have done so much with residential and commercial. Now I'm going into industrial. And all these three things are real estate. This gives me the opportunity to define my business, my work, real estate. How you can turn functional spaces into anything and make it available for sale. Industrialization is my next stop. And I would like to urge all of you to support the dream and the vision of Petronia, being able to create an industrial hub and have a distribution channel that would help and support the African free trade by us industrializing our own minerals and trading amongst ourselves. Thank you. Nana Kwame Bediako and the making of a new Africa.